Hello guys, what's up? Adrian here from Mapsid. Um, during this video, I will present um, our latest product uh, generated by the platform. Uh, the product is, um, is a simple uh, flash dashboard uh, provided uh, uh, with basic modules like uh, database, uh, authentication, uh, ORM and the super, super uh, simple code base. Uh, the product can be used by anyone with uh, basic programming knowledge and also by experienced developers to extract the UI and use it in a legacy product. Um, let's take a look at the, at the product. This is the live demo. There's a default uh, user here. You can create your own, but I think it's not really necessary. So we can browse the pages here, tables, billing. This page looks super nice. Um, user profile. Uh, the design comes also with uh, RTL support for Arabic uh, projects. Um, logout. So the, the UI is super nice. Um, uh, just a few pages, a, a, a nice UA kit, you can extend it because uh, the CSS and the SCSS files are also provided. Um, sources are published on GitHub uh, and the link will be mentioned uh, in the video uh, details. Let's try to build uh, this product in a local environment. All the, um, all the build instructions are provided here in the, um, uh, in the readme. And uh, we also have a much complex documentation here on AppSeed documentation, where users can follow up more, more information here, how to set up in detail the environment, how to how the application is built, what models are provided uh, by default, and so on. Let's uh, stick to, to the simple things and uh, try to follow up the build instructions are as um, as mentioned in the readme file, and see how it goes in the local environment. I will open a terminal and uh, just copy paste the, uh, the instructions. Now the sources are downloaded for from from GitHub. I will switch to the product uh, root directory. Here uh, we have instructions to build the virtual environment and uh, install the dependencies required by the by the product. Uh, sandboxed without affecting uh, other application installed in our on our workstation once we create a virtual environment we need to activate the environment the next step is to install the modules this might, might uh, take a while if you have a slow uh, connection to the internet. Okay, all modules are, are installed. We need to export the Flask app variable re required by, the, by Flask to, uh, to start the application. And of course, the the last command is to start the application and see how it goes. By default, uh, Flask uh, starts on, on port 5000. Let's access the Okay. Okay, we uh, we need to, to create a user before uh, 
and use it to authenticate. Let's create a dummy user. Simple password. The user was successfully created. Okay. And the application is, is up and running. We can use it. We can update the, the pages. Let's say we want to update the title here. Okay. I really use uh, the editor from Microsoft to, to edit the sources. We have here all the, all the files. We have two blueprints, base, which provides the login pages, the uh, components, the layouts, and the home uh, blueprints, which provides the um, uh, the other pages uh, revealed to the authenticated user, users. Users. Uh, this is the project. Uh, let us know if it's something useful for you. Uh, the same UI can be downloaded also in Django. The setup is identical. The features are identical because our generator uh, sticks to the same modules across uh, different technologies. Um, let us know your, your thoughts in case any of you need support. Uh, the support is free. Feel free to open a new issue here on GitHub or uh, access AppSeed and uh, go to the support page. Uh, in case you have uh, an account, you can chat with us on Discord for live support, which is also free. Uh, the Discord is, we, we have many, many good programmers here. We have a nice community. I think we hit quite soon 1000 uh, uh, users in Discord. So feel free to, to use the product and tell us uh, your thoughts on, about it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video, guys. Bye.